Hi guys, welcome to my channel today. My name is Demma Evelyn, your favorite YouTuber. Okay, so today I've come again with another vacancy for healthcare assistant. But for those in the UK and those outside the UK, you can apply to this house. Okay, you can apply to Rodwell House. So I, if you are seeing this on the screen, go to your Google of choice, type Rodwell House, and it will bring you to this place. Okay. Make sure you watch this video to see what I actually did here. So once you come here, you have to go to the menu side. Okay, I will show you. First of all, you see roadway houses. Okay, new resident inquiry. That is not about you. Just come down. Come down. You see where there is job. See these jobs. When you come here, you see so many things, but you see jobs. That is what consigns you. Okay. All right. So they are, they are supporting people living with what? Nursing needs. Okay. Click on jobs. When you click on job, you, it will bring you to career opportunities uh, to work in care. Being a care worker is very important and will suit anyone who has a genuine empathy for vulnerable people. So if you're interested in joining us, we have three routes of employment. First one is UK, UK resident. So if you're UK, that is if you're in UK, um, you have the right to work in the UK. This is for you. Also, second one is international graduates. Like those that work in the UK and uh, we need a visa sponsorship, this is also for you. Another one is overseas who do not reside in the UK. Okay, this is also for you. Okay, so opportunity to develop to uh, uh, towards a UK recognized qualification will require you to make a personal financial contribution. So what we're trying to say is that they offer all these people employment. So if you are here and you want to apply, all you need to do is click on this application form. When you click on the application form, it will download for you to fill. You see what I'm saying? So here, click on position applied for, First year assistant, carer, then is it full-time employment or part-time? Of course, full-time. Let's say I am applying for a health care assistant. Okay, position. Then coming down. How do you hear about this? YouTube. Then do you need accommodation? Yes, you need accommodation. But if you have someone in the UK that you can stay in her place to start work, it will also help so that they won't have to stress about accommodation for you. Then full name, then maiden name. Maybe you, have, you got married and you changed your name. You can write your maiden name here. You can write your maiden name here. Then another one is um title. Is it Mrs. or Miss or Mr.? That is what they're asking. Then your address, okay? Write your full address. Then here is your number, telephone number. I usually like write a uh, mobile, mobile. And when you are writing it, make sure you write your country code first of all before writing uh, the number, okay? Then your email address here. Coming down, they say person to contact in emergency. Who is that person that they can contact when there is emergency? The name, the address, telephone number. You can write someone in the UK if you have anybody in the UK that they can contact. It would be nice. Nationality, where are you from? Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Ghana, China, Dubai, anywhere, Turkey. Date of birth, write your date of birth. Then national insurance number is for those in the UK. So if you are not in the UK, you don't have national insurance number, just write not applicable and move on. 
So here is for people that have membership. So if you're a nurse, this is for you. You can write NMC here, then write your uh, registration number. If you, if you have started an NMC process, you must have registration number. Then write your date of registration, the date you started your registration number. You can write your CRN number here, your, the date you, you, you got your CRN number, date of expiring of your registration. Is there any investigation pending? No. But if you're a healthcare assistant, this is not for you, okay? You have right to work in the UK, yes or no? Required, you should tick required. You require rights to work in the UK, okay? Say required. When you come to this bus, just say you will need sponsorship, okay? Because you're outside the UK. Then your reference, reference, your reference should start with your current employer. Okay, that's why if you are writing CV, make sure that people that you are putting in your CV are the people that might give you that will give you a reference when the time comes. So your reference here should start with your current employer. The name of the, name of the person, the address, phone number, and email. The person can be contacted through. Make sure the person you are giving them is for someone that responds to email. Second reference can be your previous employer or any other person, okay? Then education, your school, the dates you attended them, school should be here, whether it's universities, primary, secondary school, or, or polytechnic, or college of education, it should be here. Dates you attended the school, from social date to social date should be here. Qualification again, is it diploma, BSc, you know, um, SSCE, any dates, the, the, the certificates you get, here, grades should be passed or credits or excellence. You should know what to write. If you write fail, now you sabi. <laughs> then employment uh, history. You should start with your current em employment. So where you are working at the moment, the name of the hospital and address should be here. Okay. Then position held should be here. Are you a healthcare assistant? Are you a nurse there? Anyone you are. That you started work should be here. Date appointed is date you started work. Do you require notice? Yes, two weeks notice, three weeks notice should be here. Okay. So come down. Then previous employment history should not be here from, from social to social, the name of employer, the position you held, and the reason for leaving. Do you understand? So the, the other one is your present employment, but this one is not previous employment should be here. The day you started should be here. The date you ended. The name of the employer, position you held there, reason why you left them. If you have other ones, continue to write them till you finish whatever you want to write. Then coming here, do you have any convention? You should be no. No convention. Do you have any convention? No? Then if you have, you should tell them. So they say if you have registered with update services, you should provide the, your, you know. Uh, if you have registered with other service, please provide your details. You can write not applicable here because DBS, you don't have DBS if you're outside Nigeria, if, if you're outside the UK. So do you have any other thing you want to tell them? You can tell them that you are in a social country, you require sponsorship, tell them your you know, experience, who you are, what can make them take you, you know, your skills, that is what you can tell them so that they can, you know, okay see you as someone that they can work with. Safeguarding, have you been referred to safeguarding of adults, you know, or bad? No, 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 it should be no. What are your main interests or hobbies? So what interests you, what is, you know, what do you like? Do you complete this application form yourself? Yes, of course. Well, if you didn't, you can tell the person that com completed it for you. Then here, you have to click here, then, I hereby apply for this employment, okay? And they submit. That is just it. Very simple. So, guys, hurry up. Let's go there. Let's go there. If you are not started, if you don't know what to do, watch this video till the end and see how what I said, okay? If you have any questions, say drop in the comment section and I'll be there with you. All right. Another vacancy for overseas health assistant or carers, okay? So, Guys, if you are coming across this channel for the first time, this is all about this channel is all about UK stuff, you know, 
job recruitment, life in the UK, and so forth. So it is today I want to bring to your notice another um, limited company offering uh, employment to overseas healthcare assistant. And the name is uh, Heritage Staffing Services Limited. So what you do, guys, once you open a uh, Google of your choice, whether Chrome or uh, US browser, type Heritage Staffing Services Limited. You will see it on the screen. Can you see it on the screen? Can you see that on the screen? So once, once you type it, it will, and click on it, it will bring you to this place. And when you come here, this is how the website looks like. So click on careers. See the career in the middle? Click on careers. It will show you this. So let's go, let's go down and see what it's showing us, okay? So when you, when you see, are you seeing what I'm saying? Embark on a new career, a responsible working environment, non-resident, non-UK resident. Once you see non-UK resident, it's talking about uh, those that want to come over to UK from abroad. So they say non-UK resident can apply a true skilled migrant worker visa. So guys, what I advise you to do when you come down, all you need to do is download the application form, okay? Download the application form, okay? So let's go there. Let's go to the application form. Click here. Can you see the application form here? Click on the application form. It will take you entirely to a new page where you see the application form. Can you see it? This is it. All you need to do is to fill this form. Your name, position applied, date of application, okay? So when you come down, here is not for you, okay? Here is not for you, here is for the company. Say authorized by management at the one that was signed, it. management of this company, okay? So leave this one, come down. This is where you have to fill your part, okay? So let's, let's get started. Coming here, your position, okay? Coming down. Your last name is your surname. Your first name, title. If you have any other name before, your previous surname. Do you require a work permit? Yes, okay. Address, your address, your telephone number, whether daytime or night, give them the telephone number that they can reach you at any point in time. Do you hold a current uh, full driving license? If you have driving license of your country, fine, yes. You have a clean driving license, yes. So coming down. Your qualification and training. Date you started school, whether primary, uh, secondary school or university or college of education, write the name of the school. Qualification again, whether diploma, HND, or degree, or SSCE. Subjects, that is name what you read in school. Then grade, whether pass, excellence, credit, or so forth. So, coming down, your nurse of king, your relationship to the, the nurse of king, what are they to you? Then um, the number, the telephone number, whether daytime or night. Then are you any are you um you know in any membership? This is for nurses. If you're a nurse and you're in any membership, this is for you as well. And also write your name, your membership status, your renewal date. Use your uh, PIN number here, and your renewal date, expiring your license expiration number. Then search from your current employment. Just the same way I filled the other form for you guys. Continue that way. When they ask about salary, please. Don't just write too much for them. You can say uh, 50,000 per month, depending on your currency. Continue that way, previous employments, continue that way until you filled everything, okay? So reference, current employment reference, same way you fill the other one. Just the same way you apply for other job, just the same thing as that, okay? Just the same way we apply for another job. Then your experience, tell them you're about your experience, your skills, why they will take you, where they should take you, okay? Then when it comes to this uh, bank, leave this bank, okay? 
because you are coming from outside the UK. It's not compulsory. If it's compulsory, you see asterisks. Okay. So leave blank not applicable. We can say not applicable. This source code is for people in the UK. Okay. Then you continue with the other ones. So it's easy to fill this form. Any criminal record? No, just the same way. You fill all this form, and at the end of the day, you also fill whether you have whether you have all this condition. If you have, yes. If you don't have, no. Okay. That is how you fill this form. Then when you had the immunization, maybe when you were with your child, you had all this immunization. If you can remember the whether you the date you have it, fine. Okay. You still take some of this immunization when you come here. Okay, your work status, are you working full time? Of course, full time. You want to work in a care home or, or you want do you want hospital, care home, residential, domestic, you know, anywhere. You tell them, you click the one you want. You can click two at a time. Then full time or part time should be full time. Okay, hours you can work Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday, afternoon, night, anyone you can click three of them, the hours you can work, okay? After this, you save, you save the form, you download, come here, click on download. When you finish filling this form, you download it, you save it. You will now come up. If you come up, you see where to send this form to with your other documents, okay? So when, when you now come up, you see this, this place, send them this to this email. Send it to this email when you finish filling the form. Some people will tell me I can't submit this form, I can't submit this form. Listen to me now. When you are done filling the form, this is the end of the form. There's no way to submit. So when you come off, download the form, save it in your phone, okay, on your computer, then send it to this mail, inquiry at hjstaffing.co.uk. Okay, send it today. Then You can also contact them. When you go back to the home bot, home, home, you can also contact them. They say you can contact us. Click on this contact. Maybe you want to call them one-on-one. -on -one. Click on the contact. It will bring out the, the form to fill for you to contact them. Or you can call their number. This is a number. And this is that email you're sending back your application form. If you have any question, you can, you can just type it here, type your message here and send it to them. They will answer you. F type your message in here, click here and send them, they send the message. Okay, maybe they have not replied, you can send the message to here. Just go to home, click on contact them, then that is where you send your message if you have any inquiry to make. So guys, I hope I'm able to convince you, not confuse you <laughs> to apply for this job. So meanwhile, thank you guys for support, for your support and for your constant uh, you know, subscribing, viewing, and liking. I appreciate you guys. So there's no link for this vacancy. Just type it in your browser and you get this. Thank you. Bye.